lights on. Um, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the September 21st Pumpkin Board of Selectmen meeting. Um, uh, I am reminded that I am to mention uh, that this meeting is being recorded for cablecast and YouTube presentation by Area 58 Community Access Media, um, and to remind all of us th um, that the video of this meeting is not to be considered an official public document or uh, an official public record. Uh, so welcome, everyone. Um, we uh, have been in executive session, and uh, now we're in open session. So very first of all, I want to welcome uh, the Selectman's new administrative assistant, uh, Brigitte Martins-Hebert. Um, as I understand it, a lifelong Plumpton resident and uh, uh, full of enthusiasm, and we are thrilled to have our new administrative assistant. We welcome you and uh, look very much look forward to working with you. Thank you. Um, and we thank the, uh, the search committee, uh, who's had too much experience on searches, and hopefully we'll be yeah. good on that for a long time. Um, so we have a set of uh, um, uh, um, uh, ground rules. Uh, I think maybe I'll dispense with those tonight. Brigitte will have the opportunity to hear those maybe next week. Um, so what we will do instead is go, as we traditionally do, to a few moments of silence um, to be used for any purpose, simply to quiet down and enjoy a few moments without words, um, maybe an opportunity to prepare for the work we have to do tonight, maybe an opportunity to just have some gratitude for the work that we have to do for the town that we adore. So a few moments of silence. Okay, so welcome back, everyone. Um, so I, we're expecting now an extremely brief meeting. We thought Blue Wave um, uh, was going to be in tonight with a new solar um, uh, proposal, but uh, at the last minute, that schedule changed. We expect them in next week. We think it'll be at 6 p.m. We'll know that by the end of the week. Um, so a few other items to deal with, and we'll jump right in um, and hopefully have a quick evening. First on the list is the appointment to the Conservation Commission um, of uh, uh, Amy Cronin. And so we received a letter from uh, the Conservation Commission uh, recommending Amy. Um, they were pleased to recommend her for the open seat on the commission. Uh, they note that Ms. Cronin is a chemical engineer and has worked extensively with developing regulations and advising the public on how to apply those standards. She and her family have lived in Plumpton since 1997. Um, I've known Amy for the last few years. I think maybe I met her during one of the last election campaigns, and I think she's a tremendously talented, dedicated woman, and I am absolutely thrilled that someone of this quality would like to volunteer for the Conservation Commission. Um, so if there's no other discussion, I would make a motion that we um, uh, appoint uh, Amy Cronin to the Conservation Commission. Uh, the term would be through June 30th of 2016. Do we have that appointment slip around? Um, did that end up in one of these piles? This pile? You had taken it. You took it. I took it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, while we're looking, I there we go. Perfect. So, I made the motion. Is there a second? Second. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thrilled. Amy, thank you so much for coming on. Um, I tend to be on the sort of the pulpit each week, uh, um, asking, um, requesting, begging for talented people to come forward, and that's exactly what this is, and we're thrilled. So, and I just want to say, Amy was on the Solar Bylaw Review yeah. Committee, and she was great. So you, you've really got a good person going for you. Excellent. Um, okay. Um, so, uh, next is um, Peg Access Cable Enterprise Fund. Um, uh, we received, uh, I'll pass that down this way. Thank you. Um, I forwarded to my fellow selectmen uh, um, some correspondence between the treasurer um, um, and the DOR. The DOR is feeling like they're not happy with the enterprise fund that we created at last town meeting as a way to fund our PEG access stuff. Um, this is um, um, a little unfortunate. 
um, in large part, be, and, and has a big, long story that goes with it. I'm going to keep it very brief. The Enterprise Fund was the exact mechanism that Tom Consul um, suggested to us as the way to do this. Um, and, and what has happened along the way is with a new law about um, how to deal with the accounting of um, cable um, license funds going to studios, there's been tremendous confusion in the state. There has been tremendous confusion within the DOR, as best I can see. There has been tremendous confusion among town councils of the w best way to handle this. Um, the Enterprise Fund is the, uh, was the choice suggested by our town council. Um, the town and county and I went over it, and we felt it was the best way. Um, interestingly enough, um, when another town and the Tri-Town Studio went to DOR, they got a totally different recommendation on how to do things. In any event, the DOR has offered a different vehicle to do this that we can straighten out at next uh, special town meeting. It's probably the way we'll go. Um, I would um, ask, or I put this on the agenda tonight, I think if the DOR wants it done this way, there are some disadvantages, but of course it's probably much easier to not argue with the DOR on it. I would like to ask permission of the Board of Selectmen to go back to um, Lauren Goldberg, who's the um, man managing partner at Hoppelman and Page, and at most spend a half hour just going over this to make sure we're comfortable with how Absolutely. this goes. I hate to even start in again. This was such a bag of worms. Um, but I just, I, you know, I think we did everything right to get it right last time. I, I don't want to argue with DOR, but I'm not sure there aren't other opinions within the organization. But I just want to get it right once and for all. So I'll spend very little time, and then if it's all right with you guys, I'll just spend a little time with Lauren. Absolutely. Do we, because it has, because many people are having problems with this, and DOR is having problems, do you want to give a little time? I mean, we can't do anything about it until um, next year anyway. I do want to talk to the other towns again and see. I will say, and we actually made this clear, and Lauren did make, make it clear last year, that a brand new law, no one's sure how to handle it. it. It had been in effect for three or four months. Brand new, add to that an unusual situation of a Triton studio instead of our own studio. And I think this is kind of, they're kind of ongoing opinions. Mm -hmm. um, so at some point I'll go to Lauren, maybe not right away, if, uh, if that's what you're alluding to. Yeah. Um, and we'll just see how it shakes out. Well, won't Carver and um, Halifax be in the same boat? Well, you know, they each have gotten totally different opinions along Some the way, too. Um, it, it really, ironically enough, it turns out to be maybe an, mainly just an accounting issue. And it, 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 when all this came up last November, what was so clear is that DOR offers opinions that they feel like are the rule of law. Town Council offers different opinions that they think are the rule of the law, but also. And it is one of those things that there are just a lot of opinions. I think we were forewarned that maybe this would be an ongoing evolution of the best way to deal with it. It really doesn't change anything more than kind of an accounting thing of which cubbyhole it goes to and the very subtle differences between an enterprise fund and a revolving account. And um, um, You have to love this stuff to get deep into it. All right, well, we won't belabor that. Um, so at some point I'll spend a little time. We, we'll have it on the radar for special town meeting next spring. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Do you want to vote? Do you want a motion and vote to get permission to go to town council? Okay. So um, I make a motion that uh, the board um, authorize me to go to town council for some brief consultation on the enterprise fund. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, you know, before we get on to the other stuff, I wanted to stay at the top. Yesterday was the dog adoption day run by the Girl Scouts Aww. on the Taugri. It was the cutest little bit of Americana and what's absolutely cool about Plumpton. The turnout was amazing. There was a little petting zoo. There was a little pony there and some goats and a whole bunch of dogs. It was so sweet. It's the... Um, it's what Pumpin does best, and I, I want to particularly mention Karen Foy, who organized the whole thing, the Girl Scouts who put it on. Great show, 
great show. Um, yeah, I think it was intended to be a one-time dog adoption, part of a Girl Scout project. That was so cool, and so many people showed up. I think this kind of a groundswell that this should be an every year thing. Next year we're going to have Dale in as a judge of the dog yeah, costumes. You though. were a judge, and <laughs> Deb Anderson and um, Pastor Nan. The, and Pastor Nan there. and a couple others, and they paraded by these dogs at costumes. It was just hilarious. Was Luckily, scary. each dog and each uh, walker of dog got a prize and won something. Um, very, very sweet. We had, my wife and I had friends in um, from New York City, actually a very sophisticated bunch of people, and they just were enthralled. As, you know, I think they have the idea that this is the way Massachusetts always is. And we had to let them know how unique Plumpton is, how really unique Plumpton is. I hope you got some pictures. Yeah. Oh, All right. Sorry. Now, did they have dogs to actually adopt? Yeah. yeah. Where yeah. did the dogs come from? Uh, from shelters. There was one shelter. What do they call it? Um, their forever owner. That, that I had actually never heard that phrase. I think maybe it, even though I'm kind of in that biz, but um, rescue dogs were finding their forever home, their forever new home. And of course, dogs that find their forever new home, it's like forever grateful. And, yeah. Just a sweet afternoon. Oh, very nice. All right, so, go ahead. They had a kissing booth. <laughs> no way. You weren't in it, were with you, Mark? A, with, a, with a golden retriever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <No. laughs> Ooh, it could make money for the town that way. Of course, no one would come. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> water ducking tag. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, water ducking yeah. tag. We'd be all over that. So, you know, each week I do usually in the ground rules say that it's serious work we do, but we can bring along some joy and laughter. So, all right, we check that off for the yes. month in any event. All right, that to work. Um, so uh, we're up to um, continuing to discuss and plan the board's goals and priorities. Um, Public Safety Building Committee is... Uh, we haven't met since um, yeah, two weeks. So we meet this coming Wednesday, 6 okay. o'clock in this room on the 21st. So if okay. anybody's interested, please come. All right. DOR report. All right. We had a meeting last week on uh, September 17th and um, we had a really nice meeting <coughs> and um, basically the consensus is that this is the DOR report is kind of um, the starting point for other areas that need to be looked at as well and this has kind of given us a jump start into um, you know other committees that may need to be formed down the road we suggested a government study committee to look at um, you know, where the town is heading and whether it's best to have um, all of people elected as they currently are or whether, you know, we should move to some more appointed positions. Mm -hmm. So that was a suggestion they had. Um, they suggested um, that we put legal out to bid when that is up, that we looked at um, possibly going to more of a fixed cost program rather than um, by the hour, that that might be beneficial to us. And then also in the DOR report, they suggested that we um, put the, um, the auditing out to bid when that contract is up, that we've had the same company doing it for, I think, about 10 years, and they just thought that uh, that was a DOR recommendation. So we agreed with that. Um, we talked about um, personnel where we thought, um, you know, we might be going down the road, whether we thought we needed some more um, financial guidance with um, possibly like a CFO position or um, getting a financial consultant or retainer to, um, to assist. And that, um, that we need <coughs> to put together some type of, um, we need to put together financial policies and come up with a plan for, um, for finances. Um, we talked about, let's see, what else did we talk about? Um, John Trainer reported he had a really nice meeting with, um, Mrs. Morin and Mrs. Gomez to go over, you know, what their day-to-day -day tasks are. He said he felt really comfortable after that that um, they had indeed addressed a lot of the um, internal control issues in the um, the DOR report, and they have been wonderful to work with and very forthcoming with information and helping us um, along the way to understand. and And they have a really good handle on uh, on uh, items that uh, were pointed out. Um, what um, we suggested was coming up with a 
a spreadsheet work action list for us to stay on track with, um, with getting things done. And I put together a, um, a kind of a, a rough draft of what this might look like with um, selectmen, uh, action items, with what Colleen's doing on the Public Safety Building Committee, what um, I've got doing, uh, going for DOR. Um, I just added the Enterprise Fund, uh, you know, with the due date of special town meeting, um, tasks for Dale, um, things that um, we had talked about before with uh, the fixed cost spreadsheet, which we're gonna need for the DOR. Colleen is gonna need um, a uh, complete evaluation of the Center Street property and uh, you needed some uh, amended engineering study for Palmer site, things that we need to get done in order to, to work towards um, our goals. So it just might be easier for us to manage the many tasks that we need to do if this is kind of a, um, a working document where you know, things will be added and things will be deleted as they're completed, but it might help us stay on task to, be, uh, to really get um, the things done that we need to do. So, that was a recommendation of the DOR committee that we adopt a, um, a worksheet to, uh, to get our tasks done. So Great. I brought in a, an example and um, you know, it's something that we may want to adopt just to, uh, so nothing falls through the cracks or to the best of our ability anyway. So um, do we have to take action on deciding we want to do a worksheet? Is no. that a concept? That, I think that um, we can just decide that we want to, to do this. Um, what I had put on for um, Dale's um, list was a um, five-year fixed cost spreadsheet. And this has got due dates with a progress update, um, you know, notes, um, then um, a monthly communication meeting with department heads to gather hiring policies from other Massachusetts towns. That was a DOR task. DOR is gather financial policies from other Massachusetts towns. DOR is gather job descriptions for all town employees. A general would be the Spring Street Carver Industrial Park and just kind of um, how to proceed and info we might need for town meeting. Uh, the building committee would be complete the evaluation of Center Street property and that would need to be done as quickly as possible. And um, the last thing I had um, under uh, the town coordinator was acquire amended engineering study of Palmer Street site, and that had a, um, a tentative due date of 923. Yeah, it, it's already on your radar. Yeah. It's just kind of capturing yeah, it's just, things that we know are out there. It's just right, clarifying. And then under us, um, we've got the uh, Public Safety Building Committee, and that's um, Colleen's working on that. And um, I don't know, you know, there would be things to add little, um, you know, one-offs about, you know, what she needs to do and, you know, deadlines for town meeting and, you know, all these different things that need to be done. I had um, for the DOR the financial tasks um, and we'd like to have all of that completed by the, uh, by town meeting. There really isn't anything we need to vote at town meeting, but we really wanted to tighten up our financial policies prior to town meeting. So. It's already, most of it's already been done. There are some things that, um, that still need to happen. We needed to adopt a hiring policy. We wanted to try to get that. We thought that was another high priority and we want to try to get that done by town meeting. Um, we need to do, the DOR needs, as recommended, a financial policy. I don't have a date on that. Um, the general would be job descriptions for all town employees because wage and personnel is going to need that. General would be the town email, which is um, we're working on now. The community compact would be a general thing. I have applied uh, for that. We're waiting to hear from the DOR. And then um, now we've got the, um, the revolving account for the cable, which would need to be addressed by special town meeting. So it just, it's, you know, just an... Um, uh, are you going to keep this list? Or are we I can pass keep this the list and um, we could, or yeah, or Roger could keep it. And um, I would suggest we either review it, um, you know, weekly or bi-weekly so that we can stay on track with um, where we are. Mm -hmm. with, um, you know, things Why don't we to just um, intend it to be on the agenda every week as part of our uh, goals and priorities Perfect. because really it's the driver of that. And All it uh, is is, right, just stating them out so and the tasks. I, I'll okay. add that. Um, I, love the, I love your suggestion. I, 
I'm in and so appreciative of the DOR report committee. It's what we envisioned a year and a half ago when we had the DOR come in. And, um, and so many of these things are proactive instead of reactive. And uh, so thank you, thank oh, you. Oh, you're very welcome. Um, well, it was um, John Trainer's suggestion. It was a very good suggestion. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, I'll email it to you tomorrow. But, you know, like I said, this is going to be a, a working document and um, things may change and um, we can talk about it next week and that way um, Dale will have had a chance to look at um, some of the due dates that, um, that we've come up with on um, items that have been assigned to him, whether it's feasible or not, so that, um, you know, that we're all on the same page. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Excellent. Okay. Uh, okay, and all that? Yes. Um, future uh, uh, board, uh, board of Selectmen meeting schedule. Um, uh, every Monday night except uh, Columbus Day through the end of October. Um, a week from Wednesday night, uh, that is September 30th, uh, we have an executive session. We, the board, at 6 p.m. with town council for ongoing legal matters. 7 p.m. Uh, town Council update and training for boards, committees, and commissions. Uh, I had town clerk send out a save the date thing last week, and I'll have her send out another one this week. Uh, we hope uh, as chairs, but as also um, members of all town boards, uh, committees, and commissions will come, old timers and new timers alike. Um, good opportunity, really good opportunity to kind of proactively find out stuff and hopefully stay out of trouble. Um, which actually brings up the issue of the f fixed town council, um, which I think has so much merit in terms of anyone feeling like they can go get a question answered, um, any board and committee, before they get into trouble, before we get into complication that, that potentially is cost effective in the long run. Um, let's see. Uh, so that's our schedule. Do you okay. have something? I, I, well, actually, I didn't notice that the solar had been taken off the um, the agenda. Oh, I missed I that this week. I scanned well, it really quickly. Okay. Um, somebody sent me a question. If you want to put solar back on for next week, or do you want me to discuss um, it now? Well, can we c consider it car part of correspondence? And it is. I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. Are you? Absolutely. Okay. So um, <clears throat> basically. The solar bylaw has gone to the attorney general, and we we won't get their response or their acceptance of the change until mid October. So this person wondered what happens if somebody brings a project forward now. Town meeting has already approved the change of bylaw. The attorney general has not. So is this something that we need to ask um, the town attorney? No. Okay. Let's let's do uh, it's, it's effective as it's written. Um, and the only thing that would change that would be town council. So if somebody brings it in, they fall under the uh, new amended solar bylaw, even okay. though the attorney general has to approve it. Should the attorney general change it for some reason, then obviously that would change whatever request people put in. But that law stands um, as of town meeting. And as a zoning bylaw, it stands from the exact time that it was. Good. Uh, time that it was All right, I will email them back. Thank you. Um, and actually, while we're sort of on days to remember, or, or dates to remember, I was asked to remind people that everyone who has land in Chapter 61 um, needs to have their application in by October 1st. Uh, and apparently, one, we're one of the few towns um, where the assessors do not send out a reminder each year. So please, folks, if you're part of the Chapter 61 program, October 1st, the deadline for an application. Um, okay, that brings us to the town coordinator report. Okay. Um, briefly, um, Blue Wave has been scheduled for their PPA proposal uh, next week at 6 o'clock. Um, the engineering company informed me that they'll be doing um, preliminary perks, digging holes on Center Street um, this week. And uh, that always gives you a good idea of where the perk would go, and we've got the information coming in for me to, uh, to set them up with the Board of Health. So that's on schedule, and that will be done. And then the other, um, I have the information on quarry checking, and um, essentially you set it up with the state, and we can
instance, we can set we can set it up here. It would require someone here um, to actually open the account with the state. They need a full name, date of birth, social security number, um, address, phone number, and valid email address, and then um, we'd be able to do eCORI, iCORI, which is the um, the Corey Light, they like to call mm -hmm. it, um, and then. I mean, so that's up to the board, that's a board decision, and then um, who gets Corey? That's also a board decision, whether, um, I mean, employees, uh, you know, new hires, um, and wherever else you want to go with it. But again, mm -hmm. that would be a board decision. So is there cost with any of this? Uh, no, I don't believe there is, as a municipality, I think. Um, so the two things we'd have to do is appoint someone to go through to become the Corey mm -hmm. Light czar. And, and then decide either now or decide, get someone trained, and then at some point decide when we want to use and that you opportunity. You'd have to institute a policy as to where you were going to use it, whether okay. you were going to use it for all new hires and employees, which is not necessarily a bad idea. And then if you want to reach out from there to other things, um, that's also, you know, also a board decision. I don't know that it's, I don't know what level it's done in other communities. So. Okay. So are we interested in appointing someone to become the Corey Light person? And if so, uh, town coordinator? Is that the right place? Should be in your office because you, you're ultimately in charge of all the hires and hiring would probably be the first place you would do it. So I would say uh, it would be somewhere through the Board of Selectmen's office, either myself or um, Brigitte. Or one of you. I'd, I'd say either of those positions. Yeah. Okay, we got it down to two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Let's okay. give it to Brigitte. Okay, perfect. Okay, I'll um, send you the link tomorrow. Perfect. And why don't we spend a little time thinking about um, creating a policy? Yeah, why don't we, yeah. Uh, we'll put that on the worksheet. All right. Yay. Good. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. All right. And other things from you, Dale? No, nope, that would be it for me. Okay. Well, my Perfect. goodness. That brings us to correspondence. Okay. Um, I, or I'll let no, you go, go first. No, go ahead. No, you can go All first. Right. So I had a couple email correspondences that I wanted to um, uh, uh, bring up. I guess, did we all get this? Well, just in case we didn't, um, and for everyone to know, uh, we got an email from uh, the co-chair of the <coughs> Open Space Committee, and maybe I'll just read it. The purpose of this memo is for the Open Space Committee to inform the Board of Selectmen about the following motion, which was approved at our meeting last Friday, that is the Open Space Committee meeting, September 11th. The Open Space Committee recommends to the Board of Selectmen that unknown risks preclude moving forward to acquire the property at 59 Parsonage Road. For that reason, the Open Space Committee will not be submitting a CPC application for that purpose. We have notified the USDA office in Amherst that the Board of Selectmen um, is now the, uh, the point of contact with Plumpton. Um, blah, blah, blah. And so that's the main point. So at this point, we are waiting to hear from um, uh, the USDA. As I think we discussed last week, there was a representative that was down in Washington seeing what they could do about funding a phase two environmental study. And God only knows where it goes from there. But for the time being, time being uh, it doesn't look like open space is going to move forward on it. We'll see what happens next. Okay, and then one more bit of correspondence, um, uh, and actually this is more in the date to remember, forgive me for bouncing around a little, that's what happens with over-caffeinated minds. Um, uh, so uh, October 18th is going to be the opening um, of Churchill Park, the official opening. It's going to be... Um, uh, um, sort of a low-key event, but uh, an opening celebration um, probably in the afternoon, October 18th, which is a Sunday, followed by guided hikes and uh, some fun park games, um, and uh, keep an eye out in the, uh, the town website, the newspaper, and uh, I will tell people that I had the opportunity last weekend to walk the boardwalk to see all the planks in. It is 
absolutely amazing. And it actually goes back a little bit, a little like the flavor of the event on the town green yesterday that just felt a little unique, a little special. The boardwalk's amazing. All those planks, all those people that uh, were part of it. Um, so don't miss that opening uh, October 18th or any time thereafter. Um, it's special. Okay, uh, that's my little pitch. And, and now... I turn okay. over the correspondence to you. All right, from South Shore Community Action Council, we got a, um, a letter about um, some of their activities, and they have been, uh, their mission is to fight poverty on the South Shore. Together, they've helped 27,419 people in the past year alone. They distributed the equivalent of 451, 942 meals to hungry and food insecure people, particularly the young and the elderly. The fuel assistance program kept 10,721 homes warm during the record-breaking snow and cold of the past winter. Their early education program provided 535 preschool children with a supportive and stimulating educational environment. The transportation program gave 1,267 elderly and disabled people um, over 146,000 trips to and from vital medical and rehabilitation appointments. And let's see, their CDL training and job placement program trained, licensed, and placed 33 unemployed people, six of whom had been homeless in new jobs earning an average of $21 an hour and their Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program assisted 652 low-income workers with free tax preparation, resulting in $1,277,380 in refunds. So they've done a lot of very good work to um, help our friends and, uh, and neighbors. They, let's see, is this the same thing? Okay, South Shore Community Action Council's first annual pumpkin run, October 24th. It's a 5K. It starts at 71 Overy Street in Plymouth. Walk, race, walk, or run for fun and community. So I don't know if that's something that we could, you, you probably have seen that. Get on the, uh, the website. Phil might be doing a 5K run. Yeah. And then um, <laughs> you each got a nice letter from Teresa Jordan thanking you for um, meeting with her to, uh, to discuss the um, selectman's assistant position. And, and that's all I've got in correspondence. Wow. I don't even have a paper this time. Sorry. It's been a rough week with, uh, you know, interrupts. So I'm yeah. sure it's here. It probably just didn't make its way into the... <laughs> yeah, we've been in transition. Uh, <laughs> for a couple of weeks. A paper was published last week. Yeah, absolutely, so. it was. It was. <laughs> and we were we were be. we were <laughs> below the fold. Always good when we stay out of the paper. Um, all right, so we're up to minutes, and and I don't have it. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. so we I, luckily at least they are on cable. There are sort of a synopsis in the newspaper. Will we have them for next week? We should catch up. Uh, I hope so. We 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 should have them next week. Okay. You don't okay. write in shorthand, do you? No, I don't even write longhand. Okay. <laughs> well, it's just the, <laughs> let it go. Project can help you. <laughs> there's been a plethora of like words. <laughs> Typing it up. I'm yeah, not poke them sure a little bit. This is my first notes. one. I need to look. <laughs> poke them. Do we give you permission? <laughs> All right. I think we did it. Uh, my buddy. There you go. You guys any will. last words from uh, from the audience, from the big table? All right. Well, I guess we did it pretty much in record time. Uh, so next week we'll have Blue Wave in. It'll be a good chance to see what they're up to and a, a nice opportunity potentially for Plumpton. Um, we thank everyone for coming, and why don't we do it again next week? Thanks very much. Okay. Thank you.